Transferring calls. A customer might call in and ask specific questions unrelated to your department. You may need to transfer them to a different department or an agent to be able to resolve their questions. I'll show you also how to park a call. If the conversation is escalating and the customer wants to speak to your manager, you can park the call for your manager to be able to pick up the call at a later time. I'll also have to show you how to send a voicemail because sometimes we just don't have enough time to take every call. Then I'll show you how to consult a call. Have that smooth transition between the agents and the customer. You can see at the top of my queue that I've been on a call for about seven minutes. From here, after talking to the customer, I realize that I need to transfer their call. How do I do that? What I'm going to go ahead and do is click the transfer button. And from here, I can see the caller name and where to transfer the call to. If I'm not sure what the extension is, I can just go ahead and start typing in the name or the location of where I'm sending the person to. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer them to the lobby. So I type in the lobby and it does show the extension as well. If I wanted to transfer them to the lobby, I would automatically click the transfer button. If I want to park a call, I could choose park. But let me go ahead and change it to someone else. I go ahead and switch. I want to transfer this call to the instructor. So I'm going to go ahead and click instructor and it allows me then to park the call. Why would I want to park the call? It looks like my instructor or my manager or supervisor at this point, they're in a meeting. However, the person who called, so up in my queue, the person who's calling in, they really want to speak to the instructor or my manager. However, they're in a meeting. As soon as my instructor or manager changes their status, they'll be able to answer the call, which will be parked in their queue. If I realize that uh, they are unable to speak to the, the person they were wanting to speak to, the instructor or the manager, instead I can automatically send it to the voicemail. I know that my instructor or manager always wants, wants incoming calls to be sent to their voicemail instead of having them parked out on, on their queue. So a couple different options there. We also could consult so if I choose this button, you'll see that we can consult a call. The caller is in the red shirt at the top. I, as the agent, am in the blue shirt, and the instructor or the manager. If I wanted to speak to that person, I could have a, a, have a consult. If I want to only speak to the caller, I'll press the caller button at the bottom, and you can see that I'm only speaking to the caller. If I don't want to speak to either one of them, I can choose neither or if I want to have a three-way conversation, allowing me to have that smooth handoff as I am working with the customer and sending them to a different agent or manager or instructor, I can have that smooth consultation by choosing both. When I'm ready to transfer that call, all I do is click transfer now. This has been another just-in-time short video on transferring calls.